Inspirational quotes by famous personalities. The father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, says, If we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. We need not wait to see what others do. In the words of Subhash Chandra Bose, One individual may die for an idea, but that idea will, after his death, incarnate itself in a thousand lives. APJ Abdul Kalam has asserted, Don't take rest after your first victory, because if you fail in second, more lips are waiting to say that your first victory was just luck. Swami Vivekananda has observed, Take up an idea, make that one idea your life, dream of it, think of it, live on that idea, let the brain, the body, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success and this is the way great spiritual giants are produced. According to Rabindranath Tagore, the author of Gitanjali, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms toward perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by the into ever-widening thoughts and actions, into that heaven of freedom, my father led my country awake. In the views of Carol Burnett, when you have a dream, you have got to grab it and never let go. Lil Ben says, I don't need to be easy, I need it to be worth it. According to Kamala Aaron Kimball, you do not find the happy life, you make it. Mark Twain says, never regret anything that made you smile. According to Serena Williams, a champion is defined not by their wins. A champion is defined not by their wins, but by how they can never they have. According to Serena Williams, a champion is defined not by their wins, but by how they can recover when they fall. In the views of Winston Churchill, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. According to Martin Luther King Jr., if I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. In the words of Jim Brown, happiness is not by chance, but by choice. In the views of Henry Ford, the only real mistake is the one from what we learn nothing. According to Muhammad Ali, don't quit, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. According to Audrey Hepburn, nothing is impossible, the world itself says, I am possible. According to Khalil Gibran, life without love is like a tree without blossoms or fruit. In the words of Napoleon Hill, don't wait, the time will never be just right. According to Robert H. Schuller, tough times never last, but tough people do. In the words of Les Brown, goals help you channel your energy in 
do action. Malala Yousafzai says, let us make our future now and let us make our dreams tomorrow's reality. Anand says, don't stop when you are tired, stop when you are done. Dalai Lama has asserted, happiness is not something ready-made, it comes from your own actions. In the words of Nelson Mandela, may your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. According to Ella Fitzgerald, where there is love and inspiration, I don't think you can go wrong. According to Taylor Swift, I just want you to know that if you are out there and you are being really hard on yourself right now for something that has happened, it's normal. That is what is going to happen to you in life. No one gets through unscathed. We are all going to have a few scratches on us. Please be kind to yourselves and stand up for yourself, please. According to Carrie and Moss, people tell you the world looks a certain way. Parents tell you how to think. Schools tell you how to think. TV, religion and then at a certain point if you are lucky, you realize you can make up your own mind. Nobody sets the rules but you. You can design your own life. According to Michael Obama, for me, becoming isn't about arriving somewhere or achieving a certain aim. I see it instead as forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously toward a better self. That journey doesn't end. Thanks.